complete amateur. I've only been hiking for like four to six years. I started to figure all this stuff out just by observ observing what the heck this is. Now, this, all this debris and stuff that's fallen down here in the rhododendron, this is a rhododendron, evergreen plant that's, I don't think it's native for here, but it lives really well here. It's prevented getting straight down, so you gotta like weave your way down to Stick Beach this way, or you can go to Stick Beach this way. Go down to the Akigeti this way and then take a left when you get down here. Usually there's nobody down here in the winter when you come down here. In the summer there's always people down here. I don't know, five to ten to fifteen people hanging down, hanging on, hanging around down here. Okay, here's another quick way to get down to your stick beach. Over the years I've seen college students have their parties here. As you can see, all that debris sort of eddies and forms in here. One of the reasons I like to hike here in the winter is you don't have to worry about any snakes. Uh, snake families definitely hang out in these debris fields. I, I stumbled across a couple snakes, not copperheads, but just other regular brown snakes here. And the river right today is six, seven feet, between six, it's about six and a half feet right now, slowly going down. It was up to six, eight, and then it went down to six, seven, and I think it's between 6.7 and uh, 6.6 .6 feet right now. Not that high, but ugh. this trail's been coming down to Stick Beach has been blocked by this fallen tree for many years now. I only come down here. I think I recommend only coming down here in the non-snake months. Great selection of uh, walking sticks out there, I can guarantee it. Today is not a day I need to do any. I've got like six or so uh, walking sticks at home. I want to, I want to uh, work on, clean up, and then shellac them. Okay, so this is the Cucumber Rapids Boulder Field. This is the Cucumber Rapids Pinch Point. When the water's about three feet lower. And during the summer, the photographers will hang out at those outer boulders, which at the moment are covered in water. Cucumber Rapids boulder fields right over there. We're gonna walk into it. This is all debris. This is all area when you're walking in here in the summer, be careful. Not because it's gonna collapse on you, but just because of the little critters, your snakes hang out in there. The water's a little lower, you could probably safely walk across there, but I don't know how uh, much deeper the debris goes there before it turns into water. Yeah, the area that we're standing in, this is your uh, copperhead family. Uh, what do you call it? Home ground. They hang out in these piles of debris here. Underneath the surface. And they, they uh, eat all the critters that hibernate and live down underneath the debris here. And I believe they're all hibernated right now, so we're in good shape. Walking through here.
All right, that one lone pine tree over there. I've been meaning to get over there and tag it. All these years I've come here to Ohio Pile. You come here to uh, the Cucumber Rapids area and you do your panoramic sweep of your uh, videos and you always see that one pine tree. And you wonder like, where the heck is that guy? Why is there all by himself? All right, so now we're in the uh, Cucumber Rapids Boulder Field. This is always an incredible fossil right here on this rock. I don't know what the heck this guy is. It's a really interesting one. Year in, year out, this debris all around here gets placed in a different way and then you'll see the other. It uncovers fossils and covers up fossils. Right now that this little sort of looks like a footprint with all these other cool little stuff in it. And if you look at the rest of the thing, you see all see what kind of rock it is. It's that speckled rock. And then you see all these other little eroded fossils in it. These eroded type of fossils in this whole boulder is similar to my favorite boulder, which is over there for the same time period for the same constituency of uh you can date the fossils by that stuff that geologic type of ro rock it, it is here this is all water right here i think so we have to walk on the road uh rocks here if you hike here enough you know where to step and not to step you don't want to step on places that are just water right underneath the surface Okay, this is the Cucumber Rapids Pinch Point Boulder Field. It's one of these boulders that's got a lot of eroded of these seed pod fossils on it or whatever they are usually this is all dry when the river's down another three or four feet i've videoed a snake on that one a regular river snake that debris pile has got lots of snakes in it in the summer just be careful when you're walking through there I think I've even videoed a snake over here a couple years back. All right, my favorite fossil boulder is visible. Here's all the debris blocking the river flow right here and squishing it over that way. Cucumber Rapids Boulder Field, Cucumber Rapids Pinch Point. The rocks where the photographers take their photos from is right there. My favorite fossil rock in the whole park is right there. Can't get really too close today, but we can see it, so that's it. That's your number one, that's my number one fossil boulder in the park. You can clearly see the remnants of whatever are the fossilized matter right in the face of the boulder. Dozens of examples of fossilized remnants of whatever it is that got fossilized there are still right in that. When the sun's different, it's a beautiful, beautiful rock of browns and darker browns and rusty colored browns. This one here has got a bunch here. These are heavily eroded right here, though. This one 
you can still see the remnants of the fossilized matter. Covered by the river right down there. There's your flat rock right underneath the, the probably about four feet down where uh, a lot of trout, trout fishing, very successful there. And then uh, right down there, under the water is the crisscross fossil. So when the water's two to three feet, you find the crisscross fossil there. So you see the big flat area where the fishermen stand. The boulders over there, which are getting covered with water, those are the rocks that the photographers set up their parasol and everything in the summer, take the photographs of the rafters coming down through the pinch point, and they go flying out of their, rap, uh, out of their rubber boats very often right there. This area right here is nice and eddy, safe, so you got a big eddy area here to recover. This whole area, the Cucumber Rapids uh, Pinch Point Photographer Rocks has an eddy area where they do their practicing. The river rafter companies practice right in here over and over. How to do all their safety stuff, they do all their safety practice here in the spring. So if you come in the spring and you come on hiking on down to the Cucumber Rapids Boulder Field, you can watch them do the, the river guides, do their practicing right in here. And if you like fossils, that boulder right there, remember that, come on over here and take a look at it. It's one of the most spectacular fossil boulders and you can see the remnants of the flat plant fossils right in the boulder.